Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl A Marie. And of course we're coming to you with an organizing video. You guys know if you haven't seen already, I have gotten the Michaels 5 drawer system instead of the IKEA drawer system. This is a hack and a dupe and a tip to save you some money. I have my second one already delivered, but I haven't put it together yet which I didn't put this one together, my wife did. But I wanted to show you guys how I was gonna transition my drawers, these drawers right here, these Michaels 10 drawer crafting drawers, I think they're called. Um, they worked for many years. First they started out being my coupon inserts organizers and then i switched over to using these for my makeup and like i said they lasted for years as well as these drawers that i got from walmart these lasted for years too but uh, excuse me how rude anyway these lasted for so long but you guys know i'm trying to do some different type of organizing and I decided I wanted to get some micro drawers instead of Alex nine drawers because of the parts. I wanted to show you guys how I started to organize it. And I can't say this drawer is heavy now because here is all of my foundations that I have stored in one drawer compared to being two drawers over here. Here's all of my foundations that are stored in this drawer and I think I really like it. I don't know if I, yeah, I put the stoppers on it to where the drawer doesn't come out all the way, but it doesn't bother me because the drawers are not extremely, extremely deep to where I can't reach back and pull what I need out. But it does have a lot of more room and we're gonna come to this one because this one doesn't have the stopper. You see how it comes all the way out? The stoppers go here, but since I didn't put the stopper in here, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I don't think this bothers me whether the stopper is in it or not. So I kinda wanna go and put all of my concealers over into this one and see if I could get concealers and primers into this drawer and I'm gonna apologize now if the video is any kind of shaky because I am holding you guys and doing this with one hand so we're gonna insert that one and then we're gonna take this one that looks okay and I'm not for sure exactly how I want to set it up but I know I want to set it up to where I can use more products with less drawers. Not for sure, but that's going to go over there. That looks good so far. And that makes that drawer empty, but here's all of the primers and setting sprays, which I don't think is going to fit over here. So. I kind of need to put y'all on a tripod and figure this out, honestly. <laughs> I do. I'm like really filming this on a whim because I felt like putting my stuff in my cute little drawer now. So, yeah, we need to figure this out really quick. Okay, I'm going to try my best to stay out of frame because, like I said, I look a hot mess. But I do want to put my primers over into this drawer but I'm not for sure how I want to set that up yet because I don't want to have one drawer of foundation one drawer of each item you know what I mean so I don't know how we're gonna work this out but we're gonna try this is primers and sun sprays which I want just primers but then I have primers and setting sprays as shop my stash items so I'm not for sure how I'm gonna do this So 
So here is what we're looking like so far. I do have all of my primers sitting over here, my moisturizer, and I have a moisturizer back there. And I have some primers right here, and this is just a mixture of primers and concealers I wanna shop my stash on so that I can still keep them separated. We have setting sprays right here. These two are gonna be the shop my stash setting sprays. So I kinda wanna put these at the front. But then all I have is this little bit of setting sprays that'll fit in the drawer. 